No, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She's making my heart beat. She's like my heart job. Look at that. It's so nice. Let's try it on and see. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Yes. <laughs> it's so pretty. I usually don't go for the like the multicolor stuff. I like the classic, but it's different. This is a jaguar and cotton. Okay, so I got my bag. Hi. That's just my mom for later. <laughs> Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna go to Disney World. And I'm so excited. Okay guys, so we are back home. It's actually the next day. And this big old bag, I had to bring it in the house. And I posted on Instagram, I was like, do you guys think my husband will notice me walking in with a bag like this? I was supposed to run to um, grab some lunch. And I ended up stopping at the Gucci store to see if I liked anything from the collection. I had already peeped it last week online. And I've been kind of waiting for different people to pop up with this collection online so that I can get like a better view of it or like a review of it but i haven't seen any 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 reviews of anyone um unboxing or showing what they picked up from the new multicolor collection so i figured i would do that and my daughter's crying so i'm sure you already seen what this is in the thumbnail but before we get into it i wanted to start off by sharing a couple pair of designer sunglasses that i received in the mail and i'm actually so excited to share with you guys so i actually was sent these a couple of months ago but there was just a whole mix up with my p.o box and they were lost and then they were found so nonetheless i was able to pick them up and i've been so anxious to share them with you guys because i did not want to wear them out until i got to show them to you guys firsthand and these two pair of sunglasses came from smart buy and they actually let me go onto their website and pick up a couple pair of of glasses that I liked so I went with Dior and I also went with a Gucci pair I'm gonna share the Dior ones first um, this is the box that it came in really nice and then it also included a I want to say this is like a cloth and it says Dior on it so that you can keep your glasses clean and then of course it came with a card like this certificate of authenticity certificate of authenticity and then here is the case itself it's leather it's suede i think it's really nice and it has the dior logo embossed sorry about my dishwasher guys i paused it so you guys can hear me and i don't know how to like it's telling me to start it back but it has this like not magnet but like wire wiring that allows it to you know open and close so this is in your purse it's never just going to be open and these are the glasses here so this is the pink dior so light now this is one of the most popular sunglass on the internet right now all over instagram all your favorite influencers have a pair of these i actually have the same exact pair from um Nordstrom in the color black so I'm excited to have a second pair in this and you guys know some people have the really big ones and some people have the small I believe the so light ones are the ones that like come literally like way down here and then this is the so light too this is a little bit more easy to wear considering it's not as long it's definitely super 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 fashionable and there are a few pieces on the Dior website that I'm thinking about getting I can get a cute little twilly um, they have the little um cloth style bracelets that are really popular on their site also a pair of their sandals would be cute and even if you don't you just want this to be your staple piece i think this is an absolutely beautiful sunglass and it has enough of a tint to it where you can be nosy and people watch but it's not like too blacked out so these are definitely a super beautiful sunglass and i'm definitely going to be getting a really good 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 wear out of these in the spring and summertime you know keep it fresh and funky and then the second pair that I received came in this beautiful green velvet, which is a signature for Gucci. And I thought this was super fancy. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. This is more of a standard classic sunglass case, nice, hard and sturdy. 
and then when you open it up i'm sorry if you cannot see but it says gucci right here underneath the actual sunglasses you have a is this a dust bag it's almost like a silk dust bag it opens up and you can pop your sunglasses in here and then it has a drawstring so if you want to keep them in something that's a little bit more like compact like a smaller bag you can do this instead of the case obviously the case is a great option to keep them protected and keep yourself from breaking them or scratching them up but again sometimes you just you know I mean, wear cute little bags you got to be able to have something so i like that they give you two options for storage and truth be told you know if you're out and you see a little smudge on your glasses you would rather use this what they provided which i have some smudges than to use like you know you typically use your shirt something like that now this is a beautiful staple statement piece from gucci i love 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 the cat eye look and then it has that pearl detail all along the top now typically this isn't like a classic piece that i would typically pick out but i've been heavy into the prince town style shoes so this is a perfect perfect pop statement piece you know for a bad girl look I really 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 enjoy how these look again this is something that is definitely out of my comfort zone and if you are not into this they definitely have tons and tons of options on their website um, I at first picked out a huge pair of like sunblocker Gucci shades with the big G on the side from this site and then I you know I don't know buyer's remorse I changed my mind right before I sent the ones that I wanted to the company and I was like you know let's just do something fun a statement piece this is gonna look good you know with all kind of different looks like some black shorts and a cute little top at the beach for a little cool girl vibe you can even throw on like your converse converse have been super popular lately or your pair of doc martens unlaced for an edgy look or you can keep it classic and glam so i really really love these i have both pair of glasses that i picked out linked in the description box they also have some cute fendi ones that i might go back and pick up because they were super 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 cute but i'll have both of these linked in the description box again they came from smart buy glasses so make sure you check out this company even if you wear prescription glasses you can get prescription glasses from them um sunglasses you can go designer you can go affordable um, if you're like me and I've been heavy into my blue light glasses as of late you can definitely also pick up a pair of those from this site as well I'm gonna be going ahead and ordering me a little sunglass case stand that I've seen on Amazon that way I can like keep all of my sunglasses on display but yes thank you smart buy for my glasses now for the moment you guys have been waiting for you guys see me go into the Gucci store so you guys see me go into the Gucci store and I already knew exactly what I wanted I wanted to see it in person and make sure that it wasn't going to be a silly buy or a blind buy especially because i really haven't seen anybody review this collection online yet um i've seen like gucci men wear his um ready to wear from this collection um i've seen a couple of people with like pieces but more so like the purse the crossbody or like the ready to wear stuff for the men um, i think kendra's boutique last night posted herself her and her husband um in pieces from this collection but i had not seen anybody with the backpack i got the big pack in the the big pack i got the backpack in the largest size and the thing about it is you guys know we went to missouri last month we're going to be going to florida next week and then we're going to hawaii the week after that vegas palm springs um bahamas we have a couple of trips planned for this year and you guys seen i did get the saint laurent um reeve gosh tote in the all black that was my carry on this last trip but when we got home my macbook pro was no longer working i don't know what happened but i was editing a video and i finished editing a video right before i left my mother-in-law's house and by the time we landed and got home something happened to my computer where it would not come on a thousand dollars later my baby my laptop is fixed but somehow i think that there was something with us carrying my carrying it in my carry-on bag 
I don't remember dropping it, slamming it, or anyone like stepping on it or sitting on it. But I realized that I need to be wearing a backpack when I travel with my my MacBook because that is my work. So I needed a new, new backpack. I have the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs in the bigger size, but that isn't quite big enough to carry my MacBook Pro or even my iPad Pro. So I've been saying for the last couple of weeks since we've been back, I want a backpack. I wanted something that was gonna be classic. So I was thinking about getting the bigger men's Louis Vuitton backpack, but that just doesn't tickle my fancy. It doesn't make me excited. Um, and then I was looking at like classic bags from Gucci and it just really didn't ruffle my feathers or make me excited. So last week I was online and I was actually trying to purchase some of the items from the denim collection, which I have a haul on that coming up next. Stay tuned. But as I was seeing that, this collection popped up and I didn't even know a new collection was coming out. And at first I wanted the cardigan in the multicolor they have the cardigan in the pink and then they have it in the multicolor where each section of the cardigan is a different color in this multicolor print and i was like okay but if it's a cardigan how many times can you really wear without it looking like you're just overdoing it so this collection i don't feel like you this is one of those collections where you need a lot of pieces from i honestly personally when i buy i typically prefer to buy classic pieces that if I put them in my closet and um, look at them this year, next year, five years, ten years from now, as long as they hold up and wear well and I keep them in pristine condition, I wanted pieces that are classic. So I kind of steer away from the collections that are going to be things that like you're going to be annoyed with in a season or two. And look at the dust bag. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I'm turning the box. So this is what she looks like when you open her up. This is definitely a statement piece. This is a piece that I predict I will get tons of questions and compliments on. I feel like everybody's opting for like the crossbody, the marmount, the socks, maybe the hats. But no, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She's making my heart beat. She's making my heart drop. I don't think anybody is really, really, look at that. It's just so nice. Nobody's going for the backpack, I don't think. And then this morning, I was scrolling through Instagram and I seen Rashida post it. And she's my girl. She's one of the people that I love to look to for fashion inspo. And she is the only one that I've seen thus far get the backpack. So her and I are here and she definitely gets it. The desk bag in itself is something that I'm definitely going to keep. It does have the Gucci like tag right here. And it looks just like how it looks when you wear see it inside of like your bags and your pieces where it just looks like it's like stitched on in the four corners. And then you can like kind of like slide your finger through. But I love this as a dust bag. This is a definitely a fun, huge, oversized dust bag. And I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just excited to get her out and wear her. Now for the actual unraveling. This is her. So first of all, this is the tag here. And actually it's not really even a tag. It doesn't have anything on it, but it is attached. Um, this bag comes in two sizes it comes in the small and obviously i don't know if this would be considered medium or large but i opted for the large and i do have my laptop and my planner here and this is basically the biggest reason for this is my actual laptop so the smaller one was about 1800 and then plus tax and then this one was i believe 2300 so a big difference in price but not really a big difference in price i feel like once you spend 1800 on the backpack and then it doesn't fit what you need you're gonna feel like i could have spent that extra couple hundred and got exactly what i needed so this is a statement piece i have went back and forth as to whether i want to purchase any additional pieces from this collection and i think that like here and there i'll pick up things i love the fact that i can get like the pink beanie 
um, and add that to like my beanie collection for later down the road in the winter time. They have the headband, so like the headband would be cute in like the green, for example. Um, I'm not as much interested in the socks for show. I really like the multicolored socks that um, mimic this, and Rashida had those on in the video too. I can see myself like if I'm in Louis Vuitton and they have them there, and I don't see anything else that I want to buy purchasing those socks for like around the house because they're cute but I have no intentions of really wanting to piece a bunch of pieces from this collection together into one look and I don't feel like majority of the pieces are forever pieces for example the Marmont probably is my least favorite line and I feel like the um handbags from this collection kind of give Marmont vibes where I feel like it's a piece that if I'm sitting it in my closet after a few years, I'm going to be over it and I'm not going to look at it anymore. Whereas the backpack, I only intend to ever have maybe two or three backpacks at a time. So I feel like this is always a piece. Like five years from now, ten years from now, having friends or family over in there. Looking in my closet, having a glass of wine. And they're like, that's a beautiful piece. Where'd you get that? Like, you know, because it's a classic piece. When my kids are older and they go through my collection, they'll be like, Mom, this is a vintage Gucci. It's like a 15, 20 year old bag in pristine condition because I don't plan on wearing it like a daily bag. But I do feel like whenever I'm going out with my kids, for example, at the zoo, how to die for am I going to look? How many compliments am I going to get at the zoo if I'm wearing this backpack with all my family's things that we need? Um, a day at the park, at the beach. I feel like this is a bag that if this is laying on the blanket while we're having a picnic at the beach and it kind of falls into the sand, you're not worried about the sand scratching it or ruining it. You're just, this is one of those bags you can actually live in the moment with and have fun and not take it too serious. You know, the worry about the leather or it's scratching, but even though it has all these colors in it, it still gives classic Gucci. It's a classic Gigi print with a fun color blocking situation. Now, as far as shoes, I do kind of feel like I'm that person, I'm that Virgo with everything has to match. So me having this bag, I need a pair of shoes. I do like the, um, my mailman's here. I think that's my Burberry bucket hat. I'll get that in just a moment. But this is one of those bags where like, they have the trainers, the tennis shoes that match this exactly. And I think it would be cute to um, like rock it together but I just don't feel the need you know what I mean they have sandals they have slides they have even the Prince Town now I do like the Prince Town it has the pink but the backpack actually doesn't have any of the pink in it to make it unisex so even if I got those pink Prince Towns it really I really wouldn't wear it with this it's just I would have the two pieces and wear them separately again I'm so sorry about my dishwasher but how I plan on again this is a backpack so this is like I wear my Dior crossbody I wear my fanny pack I wear my smaller um you know wearable bags that I can't fit much in this is the bag that I grab and I dump snacks diapers wipes my makeup bag um extra leggings or you know clothes for the girls this is a bag that the entire family can put whatever we need in it and go you know I want to go on so many adventures like imagine going hiking or rock climbing or being like in the jungle or something or like in the Bahamas on a I don't know but imagine just doing all these crazy things around the world like imagine me going on a world tour with my kids and in every place we go to this backpack is there like I like stuff like that and I feel like this is that backpack again that it's not leather um, you don't have to take it too seriously if it falls to the ground and it gets a little love beauty mark scratch on it you don't necessarily you care but it's fun so that is my plan with this one this one is one that I want to travel all around the all around the world with my kids and like this is their mommy bag and I know that I say that about every tote but this is the bag that I want to see like I want to see myself like in a picture in Paris in a rainforest somewhere in Brazil in I don't know Barbados in all these different places around the world and in all the pictures you can find a picture of mommy 
in this backpack so that is my little spiel about this bag now as far as the actual outlet i won't leave you guys without showing you exactly how it goes so it has the two buckles here to get into the main compartment this actual um i don't know if you call this canvas or whatever this material is on the website at some point with the small one i thought it was brown and then i was like oh it's not brown it's black and then I realized in person it's actually navy blue, which makes sense because this GG print inside is navy blue. It's not black. Um, in the front, you have these three little compartments, which honestly, um, these aren't the type of, and there are stuff, but these aren't the type of like pockets where I literally would like heavily rely. Now, if we're in a park, if we are in like the airport and I just need to easy reach, it is easiest to put like my boarding pass, even if I have to like bend it, put my boarding pass, my passport, um, my wallet and like my phone in these compartments. Because think about it, if you are like sightseeing or tourist, you really don't want to keep opening up this big, you know, space every 10 minutes to keep grabbing your wallet or you know every 10 minutes to grab your phone or whatever the case may be so even when it's on your back you know your husband or whoever can go into one of these compartments and reach in and get whatever you need and I do like that they're deep because say for instance if we are traveling and we're in like a marketplace in a foreign country I can keep my phone in here my card case or like a money clip um and whatever things I need to reach to and then we can buckle it and the reality is if I'm bumping up a pickpocket if a pickpocketer tries to get me for them to be able to unsnap that and actually reach their hand all the way down this deep to get to like my card or my money um, would be bold so it's deep enough that you kind of feel safe and secure putting things in there and not feeling people are gonna actually like pickpocket pick pocket you pickpocket you pickpocket you um it does have the gg here in a navy blue color as well and then when you go upwards it flips open like so and then of course there is the jawstring which again is navy blue and it goes pretty tight so if this is not secure you know whatever's in here is not going anywhere and then when you open her up Take all this stuff out. What do you call this stuff? I call it stuffing, but I feel like there's probably is a better term for it. I don't know. So in the inside, you have this off-white beige, more beige, I would say, um, material. Again, I keep wanting to call it canvas, but if I am wrong, please correct me. Educate me. Let me know respectfully. There's one big zipper here, and you open it up, and it's actually. I don't even know if I can show you guys, but this is actually pretty, pretty deep. It literally goes, I would say, almost to the bottom of the bag. So it's not like this small, skimpy pocket. It is actually a really, really deep pocket. So again, you could fit like the iPad mini in there. You can fit like your electronics, anything. I guess, especially because it's a backpack where it kind of opens easily. Anything that you don't want anyone to have access to, you can put in there and close that up. And then the rest of the backpack obviously is super deep. Now, I did mention to you guys that this was a new home for my baby, my laptop. So let's see if it fits. Go open the door for D. Okay. And it fits perfectly. So. It goes to about right here. You have a little space. So you'll still be able to put that in there and zip it tight. And you're good to go. Isn't this so cute, babe? Hey guys. Come on, best of mine. Oh, look my baby. No. Is this cute? Get away! Get away! What are you gonna do with he's that? Trying to load Where are you gonna go with that? He's this is first of all my carry-on backpack. No. So you don't like it? Don't forget oh, to subscribe nice. because we're on to three so million subscribers! So this is my backpack that I, I said we're gonna travel the world. Around the three. And this is my backpack. Around the three million. Come get it! Come so all the pictures of us, yeah. we're gonna be like skydiving, 
the rock planes on the yacht so somewhere. Huh? I'm saying on every every vacation we go to with the kids, this is my official mommy bag. Get away. So you First know how you go through. looks like it's way too big for your back. It looks too big for my back? Let's try it on and see. Yeah, too big for your back. No, it's not. Not that big. We're going to Florida. We ain't going to Iceland. <laughs> and eat my husband is home and the kids are about to eat too thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i have a bunch of more luxury hauls coming up so you don't want to miss out on that i'm ashley bedeck if you're tuning in for the first time and i'm dj aka dimey <laughs> and i'm Koda. say bye bye say, yeah. say check out our videos tomorrow check out our videos tomorrow, tomorrow. subscribe Bye.